we're having dragon babies. We each have to build the most epic dragon house for our kids. And at the end, they're going to judge it. Oh, I can't wait to see what my kid looks like. Yes, yeah, same here. I'm going to go ahead and press my button. And hi, Dash baby. Oh, hi, dad. Wait, where's our dragon den? Uh, our dragon's den? Uh, well, that kind of doesn't exist yet. It's not what yet? Ah! And, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's breathing fire. I'm going to hit the button again. And phew, there we go. But I got to get started on my build. I'm not spawning my kid in until my house is fully done. And yeah, same here. But hmm, what type of house should I even build for a dragon? And wait a minute. I just got a bang ready. What about I build an epic tree house? So here, let me go ahead and grab a few of these jungle saplings and some grass and a little bit of bone meal. And here, let me go ahead and just put down a little bit of grass over here like that. And then put down these jungle saplings and boom, when I go ahead and bone meal it, I'll get a huge tree. Wait, I what the? Oh, there we go. There, there's the rest of the tree. And okay, I think I should put down a few more of these trees because I feel like one of them is kind of a little bit too small. So let me just go ahead and put down a few more over here around my plot. And, and okay, well, anyways, this should be a pretty perfect build because I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but we have wings. And, uh, you know, since we have wings, that means we can fly. And flying dragons like to live up in high places. So this should be like the perfect base for my kid. Wait, didn't you hear Dash Baby whenever he came out? He said he wanted a den. That's what I'm building right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, a, a, a big dragon's den is pretty cool. But obviously, you know, since we have wing. A tree house is much better because, you know, uh, we can fly up to it and it's going to be like a whole tree nest. It's going to be sick. It's going to be like a bird's nest kind of, except for giant, huge, epic the dragon. Oh yeah, well your tree has nothing on my awesome volcano. Whoa, what? You're building a volcano? Okay, that actually is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And dude, that makes sense since you're like the orange fire dragon, but uh, you know, I'm not a fire dragon, so I'm just going to stick to my tree house. It's going to be pretty sick. But anyways, here, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and have like the main shelter area over here. So I was thinking what I could do is have different rooms on top of each one of these trees and connect them all together with like bridges or something that could be pretty sick all right well anyway the first thing i need to do is go ahead and set this entire floor to some wood but wait actually there's a faster way i can do this let me go ahead and do slash slash wand really quick and then boom i can go all the way over here in this corner and select this position and i can go all the way over here in this corner and select this position and here let me just go ahead and set all of this to some planks boom there we go that is looking pretty sick all right well here i guess now let me go ahead and add in some windows because those are always really nice let's go ahead and put those all the way around over here let me let me just do slash slash walls glass boom looking good and here let me also go ahead and add in a roof really quick there we go but wait hold on since this is gonna be like a nest essentially we need some sort of place for us to actually like land and get inside so here why don't we go ahead and build that um right over here this could be good all right well anyway since this is pretty much gonna be like a landing platform but for flying dragons i guess let me go ahead and build it out of some of this concrete and i can just make it look like a, the same as a helicopter landing platform it should look pretty sick so here let me just go ahead and build a big box over here like this we gotta make sure to have a lot of room so that it's easy to land on. And okay, that looks pretty good. Here, I guess let's go ahead and add some yellow concrete around this entire thing just to make it look a little bit nicer, just like this. Boom, there we go. And okay, our landing platform is looking pretty sick. But anyways, now let's go ahead and add a door really quick so that, you know, people can actually get inside. And we can go ahead and put that right over here. And boom, there we go. The first area of the dragon's nest is complete. Wait, Dash, is that the only way to get into your base? What if Dash baby can't fly yet? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, you're right. The only way to get in my base right now is if you can fly in. Yeah, that is a good point. Dash baby might not know how to fly. Well, in that case, I guess I can go ahead and add a staircase as well. Oh, my kid's gonna know how to fly day one. And uh, yeah, but what if he doesn't? Uh, then he'll learn from the training that I'm gonna set up. Duh. Wait, you're building flying training? That's actually a banger idea. Okay, I'm definitely gonna do that as well as soon as I finish building this staircase. Oh, wow. Way to go. Just copying my idea. And what? No, okay. Flying training is like a very normal thing for dragons, okay? Uh, you did not invent that idea. Uh, yeah, and you guys are already too slow. I've already started mine. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, wait, your guys' builds are actually looking pretty crazy except for uh rubies wait what are you building I'm trying to make a mountain right now don't make fun of me <laughs> okay okay well anyways here let me go ahead and finish up with my staircase over here and then i can get started with my flight training and it's gonna be absolutely sick it's gonna be way better than everyone else's all right all right well anyways here let me just break into my area over here and boom there we go the staircase is complete let me just break these blocks over here just to make it a bit more spacious all right but anyways now it's time to build that epic flight training i was talking about but uh hmm, where can we build it okay wait what about this tree over here this tree looks like a pretty good location so here i guess let's just go ahead and get started on building a little room for it right over here let's go ahead and build it out of some smooth stone that could look pretty cool and boom there we go let's just go ahead and set the walls really quick as well in fact we can build the walls out of some wood and pretty much what this training course is gonna be is dash maybe is gonna have to try to fly through a bunch of rings all the way up in the sky and then make it all the way back over here up like from this way or something but wait what am i gonna do if he falls that's gonna be a little bit dangerous i guess i can put a bunch of water on the floor to make up for that but anyways let me quickly set up the walls really quick let's do slash slash walls oh Planks. Boom. There we go. Okay. There's going to be kind of a small room over here, but 
it's fine. We don't need it to be ginormous. It's just like the entrance room. Let's go ahead and set this roof really quick. And okay, wait, actually, hold on. It's really dark in here. We need some glowstone. Let's go ahead and put some glowstone all around the ceiling just like that. Boom, looking good. In fact, let's go ahead and also set some of these walls to glass. That could look pretty sick. But now it's time to build the actual flight training area. So here, I was thinking we could just build the takeoff platform right over here and we can just have it be a little platform just like that. Let's go ahead and grab some fences so that any unexperienced flyers aren't gonna fall off. There we go, looking good. And here, now let's go ahead and grab a chest. And actually, wait, wait, no, no, no. Instead of a chest, let's go ahead and grab a dispenser and also a fence. And let's just go ahead and put a dispenser right over here and then a fence over here. And inside the dispenser, let's go ahead and put a bunch of elytras and let's also go ahead and grab a pressure plate and put that down right over here. And now pretty much whenever we walk over this pressure plate, it'll put an elytra automatically on us so that we can start flying. All right, all right. Well, anyways, now we have to build the actual training course for Dash Babies to go on to. So here, let's just fly out over here really quick. And let me go ahead and put a block below me. There we go. And here, now using some purple wool, let's just go ahead and build our first ring over here around this block. Let's just go ahead and have it go like this. We can just have it be a small five by five ring. It shouldn't be too difficult to fly through. We can make the rings get smaller and smaller as we progress through the course. That way it'll make it harder. But here, let me go to the start and test this out really quick. And wait, wait, hold on. One more thing I also need to do is go ahead and grab a chest and put that right over here and just put up a few fireworks inside of it so that we can actually propel ourselves. Let's just eat those right over there. Boom. There we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and try flying through this first ring. Let's go. And oh, wait. <laughs> How did I actually miss that? Okay, let's try that again. All right, all right, come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna get it this time. And yeah, okay, that was pretty easy. I don't know how I missed that first time. But anyways, what we can do now is go ahead and select this entire ring. So let me just go over here and do slash slash copy. And let's go ahead and fly out over here far away from the first ring. And we can go ahead and just slash slash paste in our next ring. There we go. And wait, why aren't the blocks floating in? Oh, there they are. And now all I gotta do is go ahead and just paste in a bunch more rings. There we go. And wait, hold on. Uh, actually, this one's kind of weird. It's going like from there to there. That's kind of like a sharp turn. So wait here, to make up for that, let's just go ahead and angle this one a little bit so we can have it going at an angle just like this here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this old ring. And let's just go ahead and have this one at an angle. Boom, there we go. That looks pretty good. And now for the next one over here, we can just go ahead and slash slash rotate our other ring and then go ahead and paste that in. So that way it's gonna start facing this way. There we go, that looks good. And oh gosh, oh gosh, we're getting pretty far from the house. Hopefully Dash maybe doesn't get lost. But anyways, let's go ahead and paste in the next ring really quick. And oh wait, I think we're gonna have to make this one another diagonal one. Let's just go ahead ahead and do that really quick just like this and okay now we can start heading back to the house we are very far from it right now let me go ahead and paste in the next ring there we go oh wait hold on where is it oh there it is and oh wait hold on let's go ahead and slash slash undo this we need to go ahead and rotate this one a little bit let's rotate it and then paste it in again boom there we go now it's facing the right way and wait hold on i think that's part of the arena over there all right here let's just start heading back and there we go there's the house all right now we can go ahead and paste in the next ring right over here boom there we go and oh wait hold on we need to go ahead and rotate this one let me slash slash undo let me go ahead and slash slash rotate and paste it in again. Boom. There we go. That looks pretty good. And here, let's go ahead and place the last ring right over here, right in front of the house. There we go. And to indicate that there's the finish line, let's just go ahead and make it out of a bunch of black and white wool, just so that it looks like a finish line. And boom, there we go. That is looking nice. But wait, now all I have to do is build a landing platform. But uh, wait, I think I'm going to have to move this dispenser and chest to the other side of the room. Hold on. Let me go ahead and do that really quick. Let's just go ahead and put down the dispenser right over here and move everything over there like that. And let's do the same with the chest. Boom. There we go. Actually, let's Let's make it a double chest now. There we go. And let's go ahead and get rid of this old dispenser because we can build the landing platform right over here in front of this ring. So here, let me go ahead and grab some more gray concrete and we can just have the landing platform going like this. And since Dash Baby is probably gonna be going like super fast when he's trying to land on the platform, let's go ahead and make this a longer platform. In fact, we're gonna make it like a whole plane runway. Let's go ahead and add some lines over here just to make it look more like a landing platform. So just like this, there we go. And okay, this should be pretty good. Let's also go ahead and put the fences around the side just like this and boom, just like that. The flying course is officially complete, but wait, we gotta put this thing to the test. Let me go ahead and grab an elytra really quick, and let me go ahead and grab some rockets. Oh, wait, actually, I've already got a lot of rockets. And here, let's see, is this thing actually possible, or did I make it too hard for Dash, maybe? All right, here, let's go ahead and give it a go. Let's go! And okay, okay, so far, so good. In fact, it's actually a little bit too easy. I kind of forgot to make the ring smaller. Here we go! I'm just gonna start spamming these rockets. Let's go, let's go! And yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually very easy. We're already at the end almost. Okay, uh, we're definitely gonna have to make this thing a little bit more challenging, and yeah,
yeah, there we go. I made it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I made it to the end. That was uh, no problem. But yeah, the fact that that was no problem is the problem. So here, let's head over here to the second ring and let's just go ahead and make this one a little bit smaller than the last one. Let's just go ahead and close it in. And hold on, wait, I need to test this one out. How much harder is it going to be to fly into this one? Let me go ahead and go back into flying mode. And here we go. Let's give this a go. And oh gosh, oh gosh, wait. Uh, okay, you got to like aim that perfectly. That one's actually kind of tough. But wait here, let me go ahead and try that out one more time. Come on, come on here. Let's just go in for the center. And there we go. I made it. Okay, that one actually wasn't even that difficult. You know, I think we should build a few more of those around the entire course. So here, let me just go ahead and finish up this first one. There we go. And here, yeah, let's just go ahead and make a bunch of the other rings a bunch smaller to make them more difficult. Ooh, is your flight training course done? Wait, I want to go over. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's not done yet. I still need to do a few modifications, but yeah, it's pretty much almost complete. Oh, come on. Can we race? Oh, yeah. We should all have a race on Dash's track. You guys are going down. Wait, well, why my track? Don't you have one as well? Uh, no, your track's finished. Okay, okay. I bet your track is actually just really bad and you don't want to show it to us. No, it's just not finished yet. Okay, okay, whatever. But anyways, my track is actually almost done and boom, there we go. Now it is done. But yeah, if you guys want to race, head over. I bet I can beat all of you guys in a race. No way. I'm totally going to beat you. And yeah, you really think so? All right. Well, anyways, here is the flight area. Uh, everyone just go ahead and, uh, you know, hop on this special plate over here and you'll automatically get an elytra. And also make sure to grab some fireworks from inside of this chest. Wait, guys, you realize that since I'm the smallest, I'm going to fly the fastest. So that means that I'm going to win. Oh gosh. Yeah, you do have an advantage, but uh, I'm going to be the most skilled flyer. So uh, because of that, I'm going to win. Well, I think since I'm the most aerodynamic, I'm going to win. Uh, well, I think just because I'm the best flyer, I'm going to win. I said that one, but all right. Well, anyways, uh, everyone get lined up. We all have to line up over here. And on the count of three, we all have to go. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. Well, anyways, then let's go in three, two, one, go. And oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, come on. I'm not in the lead right now. Ah, I'm messing up the first jump. Oh gosh, how am I behind? Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. I just gotta spam these rockets. And oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, I'm missing half the rings. Oh gosh. I literally haven't missed a ring. This is so easy. And now we can't let him win. Come on, come on. And oh gosh, uh, Speaker Man already won. But come on, let's go. Second place. I'll take that. Third. No, you were actually last. I was here before you. Oh uh, no. All right, well, anyways, that was pretty intense. But I can't believe I lost. But yeah, I, I gotta get back to building more training stuff for Dash, baby. All right, well, I'm going back to my awesome cave den. Yeah, I'm going back to my area, too. All right, back to the volcano. All right, all right. Well, anyways, now that I've got the flying course done, what do I need to build next? Hmm, let me think. And wait a minute. Okay, what about, like, a dragon uh, combat training course? That's probably gonna be very important, because, you know, flying is a very important dragon skill, but combat is also another very important dragon skill. But uh, first here, what I should probably do is go ahead and connect these two areas. So let me just go ahead and connect this platform to this platform over here. Let me go ahead and put down a few fences, just like that. Boom, there we go. And all right, now it's time to build the dragon combat training area area. And ooh, why don't we build it over here on this lower tree down here? This could be a pretty good spot. So here, I was thinking we could build it out of some stone bricks. So let me go ahead and grab some of those. Up here. Let me also go ahead and grab another wand really quick. And let's just go ahead and build the basic outline for our combat area just like this. And here, I should probably make this room pretty big so that Dash Baby has a lot of room to, you know, move around and start fighting the mob. So here, let me go ahead and set this floor to some stone bricks. Boom, there we go. And actually, wait, why don't I go ahead and make this area kind of long? I actually have a pretty cool idea for what I can do here. I could have multiple training areas in one room and oh gosh wait i'm kind of invading onto speaker man's land over here but uh, it's fine hopefully he just doesn't notice and here let me just go ahead and extend the other side all the way this way i'm just gonna go as far as i can go i gotta make this place huge there we go that looks pretty good and here now let me just do slash slash wall stone bricks boom there we go that's looking pretty nice and let me also go ahead and add a roof and boom there we go the base of the combat training area is complete and here's what i was thinking we can go ahead and split up this room into two areas because i actually have two ideas for what we can build in here we can just go ahead and split it up like that and then we can go ahead and have a hallway over here like this so that dash baby can choose which training room he wants to go into boom looking pretty good so now we've got one room right over here and we've got the other room right over here uh, actually wait let me go ahead and add some glass windows over here on the walls this kind of looks like a prison right now i'm not gonna lie let me set all of this to some glass panes there we go okay that is looking a lot nicer and here pretty much what i was thinking for these rooms is that we can go ahead and have this first room over here be regular fighting combat uh, training course so let's do fighting combat training there we go and then this room over here on the other side is gonna be the fireball aim training course. Yeah, that's a great name. This is gonna be where Dash maybe learns how to shoot fireballs and aim and all that. And then this is gonna be where he learns how to actually like do one-on-one -on -one combat with like zombies and mobs and all that sort of stuff. So here, I guess we can build uh, this room over here first. So uh, how are we gonna do this? Ooh, I guess the first thing we can do is have a little enclosed room over here where like the fighting arena is gonna 
gonna be. So let's just go ahead and set all of this to some smooth stone. Boom, there we go. And here, next, let's go ahead and add some iron doors over here because we do not want the zombies breaking out or anything. So let's go ahead and grab a button and let's just go ahead and put these buttons over there like that. Looking good. Let's add some in the inside as well. And now over here on the inside, let's go ahead and grab some dispensers and just place them all over the ceiling. This is gonna be for actually spawning in the mobs and there's gonna be like a control lever outside and whenever it gets flicked, it's gonna spawn in all of these mobs. So here, let's just go ahead and put a bunch of dispensers all around over here like that. There we go. Looking good. And here, let's also go ahead and add a window over here so we can do slash slash set glass pane. There we go. Looks nice. And now over here in the other room, we can go ahead and grab a lever. And this is going to be the lever for activating the mob. So here we can have the lever right over there. And let's also go ahead and grab some redstone torches. And we're just going to go ahead and have a stack of redstone torches going up like this. There we go. And pretty much whenever we go ahead and flick the lever down here, it should turn on the redstone torch at the top and Oh, wait, it did not. Oh, wait, actually, I'm pretty sure what I have to do is put this torch over here like that. And now it should be on. There we go. Now that torch is on. And then when I flick the lever like that, the redstone torch up here will turn off. Perfect. So here, let's just go ahead and have one more redstone torch up here like that. There we go. And now using a little bit of redstone dust, we can go ahead and connect this to all of the dispensers right over here. In fact, let me also go ahead and grab a repeater. Looking good. And here, let's go ahead and connect this redstone to all of the dispensers over here just like this. Boom. There we go. They are all connected. And now whenever we go down over over here into the control room and flick this lever. It'll activate the dispensers. But here, let's go ahead and actually put some mobs in there now. Hmm, what's gonna be the best mob for a dragon baby to train with? And well, I guess we can grab some zombies for the first dispenser, but uh, we've still got six dispensers left to fill. So let's see, let's see. What are we working with here? Ooh, I guess uh, skeletons are gonna be like one step up from zombies. Those are gonna be a little bit harder. So let's grab some of those. And ooh, wither skeletons? Yeah, okay, we can do some of those. Whoa, wait, what is this? A mutant wither skeleton? Ooh, okay, I didn't even think about mutant mobs. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and grab one of these mutant wither skeletons and i've actually got a cool idea for what we can do with this we can have another dispenser like over here on this side of the wall for the boss fight and uh, we can activate that at the very end once dash baby's done taking out all the normal mobs but first we still need to find three more normal mobs for him to fight so hmm what can we do oh what about a blaze okay that's one let's see let's see what else can we do we can't do creepers because that's gonna blow up the entire enclosure oh what about a piglin brute those are pretty strong and oh yeah we can do a spider as well since those are gonna be like climbing up the walls and dash baby is gonna have to use his flying skills to get up to them so here now let's just go ahead and fill up all of the dispensers with the mob spawn eggs. So let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and put the piglin brutes inside of this one. And boom, finally the spiders inside of this one. And here, let's go ahead and test this out really quick. Now, if I go ahead and flick this lever right over here, it should activate all the mobs. So here we go. Let's see, is it gonna work? And oh wait, actually, I think I need to flick it one more time. And boom, there we go. That worked perfectly. And oh wait, it looks like the wither skeleton and brute are fighting. Oh, well, uh, GG's wither skeleton. But anyways, that actually worked perfectly. Now what we have to do is add the boss fight area. So here, let me quickly set the difficulty to peaceful real quick so that we can get rid of all these guys. There we go. And now we gotta put the boss fight dispenser somewhere. So and now inside of this one, let's go ahead and fill it up with some mutant wither skeleton spawn eggs. And now all we have to do is connect the lever to it. So let's just go down here and wait. Actually, we should probably put some signs so that we know which lever is which. We'll put this sign over here for spawn normal mobs. And then we can go ahead and have another lever here for spawn boss fight. There we go. And here, let's go ahead and actually put down another lever there as well. And okay, perfect. In fact, instead of using levers, let's just go ahead and use buttons. Those are going to be simpler because that way we don't have to flick them twice. All right. Well, anyways, now all we need to do is just go ahead and repeat the same redstone tower torch thingy on this side over here, just like that looking good. And now we need to go ahead and connect this redstone line going all the way to the suspensor over here. But wait, I, I just realized if we're using buttons, that's going to leave all of the torches on by default. Okay, actually, uh, we need to fix this. What we can do is just have a block over here and then another Another redstone torch there like that. And there we go. Now it's going to be off by default. Let's go ahead and do the same over here on this side before we connect it to the boss fight dispenser because I don't want to accidentally be spawning in mutant wither skeletons. All right. Anyways, now all we got to do is just go ahead and have this redstone going up a little bit just like this so that it's not interfering with the other redstone. And here, let's just have it go like that. And okay, what we can do to connect it like this is just go ahead and grab some observers now. And we can just place observers like this going down all the way like that, connecting to the dispenser. And then what we can do is place this redstone torch on top of it just like that and okay perfect now it should work let's go ahead and test it out here let me head back into the control room really quick and here let's go ahead and hit the spawn boss fight button and there we go. It worked. Let's go. Oh gosh. Uh, it spawned two of them. I did not mean to do that. Oh gosh. Uh, we should probably fix that. Let me just go ahead and set the difficulty back to peaceful to get rid of these guys. But oh gosh. Yeah, we need to fix that. I'm pretty sure the reason it's doing that is because the observers are detecting when the redstone turns on and when the redstone turns off. So it's sending two signals to the dispenser over here. Okay. We're going to need another way to do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of these observers over here. Here. What we can do is just go ahead and directly connect the redstone to the dispenser over here. So all we need to do is grab some glass because that way we can have the redstone go through the glass. 
So just like this, there we go. And there we go. This should work. Let me quickly hop back down over here really quick. And let me quickly go ahead and set the difficulty to hard mode. Boom. There we go. And now let's go ahead and spawn in the boss fight. Now it should only spawn in one boss and... Uh, Wait, did it even work? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it not working or something? What's going on here? And let me go ahead and replace this button with a lever really quick so that I can actually leave it on and see what the issue is. And oh, wait, is the redstone signal not strong enough? That could be it. Okay, I think we need to put another repeater down here. Let's see if this will fix the issue. And what? That still didn't fix the issue. Oh, wait, I think I know what we need to. I think we need to put a block over here like that. And what? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, well, I guess if we can't do the cool glass method over here, then uh, we can just have like a normal redstone staircase going down. Let's just go ahead and have a little staircase going down like this boom there we go and we can just have the redstone go over here like that and okay we're definitely gonna have to add some repeaters now that we have this longer redstone but it's fine here we can just go ahead and connect it to the dispenser just like that and oh gosh i forgot i said the difficulty to peaceful but hey there we go now it works look there is a mutant wither skeleton right over there but let me go ahead and replace this lever with a button and here let's go ahead and test this out one more time here we go and okay perfect let's go it only spawned in one wait dash are you building a mob training course with a mutant wither skeleton isn't that gonna be too dangerous for your kid i mean can Kind of, maybe, but you know, uh, you gotta learn somehow. Do you have any safety measures for that? Safety measures? Uh, no, not really. He's kind of just supposed to go down in there and destroy all the mobs. Uh, yeah, but what if he's not good enough? What do you mean? Are you dissing my son? No, he's gonna be good enough. What if he's feeling tired one day and then he goes to do some combat training and then boom, the wither skeleton beats him? And, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, you guys do have a good point, I guess. Um, okay, maybe I can go ahead and add like a safety button that can just instantly get rid of all the mobs. So here, what I can do is just have another button be right over here. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these panic buttons for this one. This is gonna be pretty cool looking look at that it glows when i press it so here i guess we can just have that button over there and then oh wait what we can do on the other side is just put a command block down that says it's a peaceful whenever it's hit that way it'll get rid of all the mobs and boom there we go now whenever i hit this button over here it should set the difficulty to peaceful and get rid of all the mobs so here let's go ahead and test that out really quick let me spawn in another mutant wither skeleton and let me hit the panic button and okay perfect it's gone but wait, wait, wait hold on if i'm actually gonna need to hit the panic button then that's gonna mean that dash baby is losing the fight and he's probably gonna be low on health wait that actually gives me a good idea. We can make it so that Dash maybe gets splashed with a bunch of healing potions whenever we hit this button. So here, what we can do is go ahead and select this command block and just move it over here like that. In fact, actually, let's go ahead and move it over here. There we go. And here, we can just have this redstone power the command block through this repeater like that. And we can also grab the redstone signal this way so that we can use it to power all of the healing potions. And I'm pretty sure this should work if I flick this button. Let me give this a go. And okay, perfect. There we go. Look, both the repeaters are turning on. Now what we can do is go ahead and build another one of our redstone torch towers just like that. Boom, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. And here, now we just need to find out where we're gonna put these dispensers for the healing potions. Hmm, we should probably have them, like, spread across the entire area. I guess we can just have one in each corner of the arena. That should be enough coverage to protect Dash Baby in case he gets hurt. So yeah, let's just have one in each corner like that. Boom, that's looking pretty nice. Now let's just go ahead and connect the redstone signal to every single one of them. There we go, that should get that one. And then let's also go ahead and power this one. There we go, that should be good. And oh gosh, we're gonna have to do some crazy redstone to power this one over here. What we can do is just have another one of our redstone staircases like this. Boom, there we go. And then we can just go ahead and connect this redstone to the dispenser like that. And okay, there we go. That should work. And oh wait, actually one more thing we need to do is go ahead and add some repeaters. So let me go ahead and activate the button really quick so that we can see where we need to put the repeaters. And okay, so we need to put one over here like that. We need to put another one over here and uh, one more right over here. There we go. Now they're all getting powered. Now all we gotta do is fill up all of the dispensers with some instant health potions just like this. And then we can go ahead and take it for a test spin. All right, all right, here we go. Let's see, is everything gonna work? Let me go ahead and press the button one more time in three two one let's go and okay perfect there we go all of the potions went off did you see that that was safe exactly isn't that exciting what in the world wait where'd you even get these eggs from uh, i got them from the end uh don't ask why i was there and uh okay but wait we should probably get these out of here i don't want to have like an ender dragon spawning in my base anytime soon oh that's not exciting dude what did i just tell you but anyways i'm pretty sure my entire combat training system over here is complete let me just go ahead and add one more sign over here saying panic button boom there we go and now let me just fill in these walls and all right there we go now the combat training area is complete well wait can i try it out and, wait you want to test out my combat training area uh, actually yeah sure you'd be a perfect test subject oh i'm ready this is going to be exciting dude what is it with all the egg puns but anyways here all you got to do is just get in the room over there and here uh they set yourself to survival mode uh let me go ahead and get everything prepared over here and yeah whenever you're ready we can begin all right i'm in survival and all right all right well anyways here let me go ahead and hit the first button in three two one let's go you better get prepared because there is gonna be a lot of mobs oh don't worry 
sorry. I'm just that good. Uh, wait, what? Did you just strike lightning on all that? What in the world? Uh, yeah, I told you I'm amazing. What? I didn't know you had lightning powers. Uh, yeah, I have like every power ever because I'm awesome. Okay, okay. But don't forget, this training course was made for babies. But do you want to try out uh, the boss fight? It is going to be a lot harder than the normal round, I'll tell you. Of course I do. All right, all right. Well, you better get ready because I'm about to hit the button in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, come here. Hey, boom. And, uh, wait, did you just one shot him? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I hit the gym. And what in the world? Okay, well, uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit harder for Dash, baby. Yeah, I'm just really buff. What in the world? Okay, well, anyways, good job on beating my combat course. I gotta build my next training course. I got another one over here that I didn't even start building yet. Alright, well, I'll leave you to that. I'm going back to my awesome cave den. Alright, alright. Sounds good. Cute. Let me just hop over here into the fireball training area. And I actually got a pretty cool idea for what I can do here. Let me go ahead and grab some fences and just put those all around here. And wait, actually, I should probably use nether fences since there's like a fire area. So let me grab some nether fence. So here, let's just put these nether fences all around over here. And pretty much what this area Dash Baby is gonna have to do, he's gonna have to shoot a bunch of targets in the other side of the area with a bunch of his fireballs. So uh, here, let me go ahead and grab a few of these target blocks. And we can just go ahead and put these all around over here like that. There we go. That should be some pretty good targets. Nice. And let's also go ahead and grab a chest over here. And inside of it, we can just go ahead and fill it up with a bunch of fireballs just like that. And since we're dragons, I'm pretty sure we can just throw these fireballs. So let me give this a go. Let's go. And oh, uh, wait, I'm pretty sure that hit the fence. Let me try that again. Take this. And okay, perfect. There we go. Let's go. We can throw fireballs. Oh, wait, hold on. It's actually kind of hard to throw them over the fence. And there's going to be like super hard for Dash Baby since he's like going to be probably really short. Uh, we should probably do something about this. I guess what we can do is just go ahead and get rid of this fence and just move it one block this way. And just go ahead and have some stairs over here so that people could give themselves an extra boost when they want to shoot fireballs. So boom, there we go. And okay, yeah, that works perfectly. But anyways, now I need to test something out. I need to see if shooting fireballs at these target blocks will actually like activate them and have a redstone signal come out of them. So here, let me go ahead and grab a piston really quick just for testing purposes. And let's see, will the piston go off if I shoot it with a fireball? Let's see. And wait, uh, okay, I kind of missed. Let me try that again. And oh, did you see that? Perfect, it worked. That means we can have some sort of cool thing happen whenever Dash Baby hits one of the targets. But uh, what cool thing could we do? Wait, actually, I got a banger idea. What if we have a firework display that goes off whenever Dash Baby hits one of the targets? That could be sick. Except we can't really have the firework display inside of the room over here. So what we can do is just go ahead and set this entire wall over here to some glass panes just like that. And then we can have the firework display on the outside over here. And it's going to look absolutely sick. Whoa, wait, it's my first time coming outside of my house for a while. Your guys' houses are looking sick. Thanks, Dash. Do you like my big tree? And whoa, yeah, this looks sick. I see you've gone with the tree house design as well. I just wanted to go for a more natural look. I think baby Ruby will like it. Yeah, there's no way she does in this area. Looks sick. And whoa, speaker baby, your lava volcano is looking nice. Yeah, I just need to add a couple more things. Whoa, okay. I cannot wait to check out what's on the inside. But anyways, I got to build my firework display now. So what I need to do is go ahead and have some dispensers down over here to actually like fire the fireworks. And oh gosh, I'm going to have to kind of uh, sneak onto speaker baby and you know, everyone else's side. Oh wait, actually, hold on. I think I might know a way that I can like do this without getting caught. Let me just go down over here really quick and test something out. Let me go ahead and grab a dispenser really quick and let me grab some fireworks. And okay, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but if it does, that's gonna be very epic because then we'll be able to hide our dispensers. And anyways, uh, okay, right now that works, but uh, this is not very good because Speaker Baby is just gonna be able to see the dispenser and he's gonna see that I'm sneaking on his side. So what I was thinking is I can go ahead and grab some of these ghost blocks and just place that on top of the dispenser like that and check it out now. It's just like a normal orange wool, but if I flick the lever, will it work? And oh my gosh, it worked. That is actually perfect. And okay, okay, this is actually pretty good, but wait, there is actually one slight problem, and that is if Speaker Baby walks over the ghost block by accident, he's just gonna fall in, and he's definitely gonna find out what's going on beneath it. But there might also be a solution to this. What if we go ahead and put our dispensers and ghost blocks underneath Speaker Baby's lava? That could work. And okay, let's see. Will this work when I flick the lever? Will it fire a firework? And... <gasps> Oh my gosh, that worked perfectly. The fireworks can go through the lava. Let's go. This is actually the ultimate hidden firework system. But anyways, now what we have to do is actually connect these redstone signals from over here all the way down to the dispensers. So uh, how are we going to do that? And ooh, wait, actually, hold on. I may have one idea that could work. What I could do is have some dispensers over here. And whenever Dash Baby activates the target block, it should fire off the dispenser, which will drop an item down over here. And then using a hopper, I can detect when an item gets dropped and then use that detection to send a redstone signal down over here to the dispenser. And then the dispenser will shoot off fireworks. Okay, that sounded like a lot, but it should work, I think. So here, I guess let me just go ahead and test this out really quick. Let me just try shooting one of these target blocks with my fireball like this. And oh, I missed. Let me try that again. Boom, there we go. And okay, did it drop an item down over here? It did not. Okay, I think what I need to do is just add a repeater over here like that. And here, let's go ahead and try that one more time. There we go. And okay, did this work? And oh, perfect. Did you see that? It dropped an item. Now all we need to do is just go ahead and angle this dispenser going downwards like that. And then we just have to have a bunch of blocks going around it like this to make sure that the item falls in the same spot 
every single time. And oh gosh, okay, there's gonna be like obviously invading a speaker man's land. Uh, hopefully he uh, he's all right with it. And actually, wait, hold on. I need to place a barrel underneath it first, and then a hopper over there like that. And then what I need to do is grab a comparator and then put down the comparator right over there, and then also a repeater over here. And okay, this is getting very complicated very quickly, but it should be fine. Next, all we gotta do is go ahead and connect all of this redstone over here to the dispenser. So here, where's the dispenser at again? Okay, it should be over there. So we're gonna have to go a little bit further, just like that. Okay, there we go. We should be on the path right now. And let's just go ahead and keep digging over here. And okay, there we go. There is a dispenser right over there. Let's go ahead and connect the redstone to the dispenser like this. There we go. And okay, we're probably also gonna have to put another repeater in here somewhere. So that should be fine. And is there fireworks inside of here? Yeah, there is. Actually, wait, let's go ahead and make some cooler fireworks first. Let me just go ahead and grab some purple dye and some gunpowder and some paper. And here, let me go ahead and quickly craft some nice fireworks. Let's just go ahead and put this stuff all over here like this. There we go. And okay, perfect. Now we should have some cool looking purple fireworks. These ones should explode and be purple. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and shove these inside of the dispenser like that. And okay, now it should be complete. We got to test it first. And okay, now let's just go back over here and shoot a fireball at the target like that. And okay, we should see a firework go up any second now. Come on, come on. And <gasps> let's go. There it is. That worked perfectly. It even exploded at like the perfect height for the glass and everything. Okay, that is perfect. Now all we got to do is just repeat that for all of the other targets. It should be pretty simple though. We can just copy and paste everything. Yo, Dash. Uh, wait, speaker man, what's up? What are you doing on my side? Look at this. And, uh, uh, oh, I forgot I was on your side. I, I, don't worry about this. Uh, can you just uh, leave it here? Uh, yeah, I don't really mind. All my stuff's down in that cave. Look at how awesome it looks. And whoa, yeah, that cave looks pretty awesome. But okay, good thing he doesn't care about this thing. Okay, perfect. That would have been really bad if he cared. All right, but anyways, now the next thing we need to do is just go ahead and put down some dispensers behind all of these target blocks. There we go. Looking good. Now we just got to go ahead and build the little tower going down. And all right, there we go. All of the towers are now done. All we have to do is just put some of these hoppers underneath them just like this. Let's go ahead and also grab a barrel. And here, let's go ahead and put down the barrel over there and then the hopper on top of it like that. And let's just go ahead and repeat that with every single one of these dispensers. There we go. And now we can put these comparators in front of all of the hoppers. And we also need some repeaters. And let's put those everywhere as well. There we go. And now all we got to do is just connect everything to the main redstone line over here just like this. And perfect. There we go. Now everything should be connected to this one dispenser over here. But we got to build a few more dispensers. Let's go ahead and build a dispenser right over here. And let's build another one right over here. There we go. And here for good measures, we can put one last one right over there. There we go. Now all we got to do is cover up the tops of them with ghost blocks so that the fireworks can actually go through. And now all we got to do is just go ahead and connect all of the dispensers to the redstone line just like this. Boom. There we go. They are all connected. And now I got to cover everything up before speaker maybe comes out and notices all this. And okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to speed run covering all of this up. I'm just going to cover it all up before I even test it. And oh, hi, speaker man. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Just uh, don't tell anyone uh, the, what you just saw there. Uh, I'm just going to cover all of this up and then I should be done. This looks pretty interesting. What's this for? Is this some sort of like secret thing you're doing? Kind of. Uh, just don't tell speaker baby about it. Okay. I'm not sure if he wants this on his land. Hmm, what even is it? Uh, if it's cool, I won't tell him. You won't? Okay, perfect. Well, follow me right up here. It is very cool. I can promise you that. Uh, just come over here really quick to my fireball aiming course. And uh, why don't you just try shooting a fireball at any one of these targets over here? Oh, wait. So if I do something like this? And, yep. There you go. And now you might want to turn to your left for a second and boom, check it out. That worked so perfectly. Wow. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Well, I guess I'm not going to tell him, but uh, you need to learn how to build on your own side. This is bad. And okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll learn how to build on my own side uh, one day, maybe if I feel like it. But anyways, there we go. The aim training area for fireballs is complete. This actually looks uh, pretty cool from the inside. From the outside, it looks very messy, actually. And oh gosh, wait, hold on. I just realized that all of my redstone out here is just out in the open. I should probably cover all of this up just to make it look a little bit nicer. Let me just do the command slash slash set stone bricks. Boom. There we go. And let me just go ahead and build a whole enclosure around all this redstone so that it looks nice. There we go. Looking nice. And wait, I just got an even better idea. We can make this area like a balcony for the main room. Uh, okay, what we can do is go ahead and have like a whole roof over here. Let's go ahead and set that now. Let's just do slash slash set smooth underscore stone. Boom. There we go. And then pretty much we can just have a door over here and this area out over here can be the balcony. It's going to be so sick. And boom. There we go. The balcony is complete. And wow, this actually looks a lot better than just having the redstone be like exposed out in the open like that. Now we've got it all enclosed and we also have a nice balcony that came from it. Well, I'm working on my giant kitchen right now and I'm going to fill it with all of the best food for my baby dragon. Wait, you're building a kitchen? Oh gosh, that's the one thing I forgot to build. I need to build a kitchen as well. Wow. First the flying course and now the kitchen. Do you just keep copying my ideas? The what? Okay. First of all, you did not invent either of those things, okay? And a kitchen is like an essential thing. Everyone needs a kitchen. It must not be that essential if you forgot it. Well, actually, I didn't forget it. I'm building it right now as we speak. Well, you would have forgot it if I didn't remind you. Okay, okay, maybe, but uh, it might, maybe still hasn't spawned in yet, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, I've had my kitchen done for a while. I think it's 
gonna be the best one here. Wait, what, what makes you think that? Well, I just have really nutritious food in it. Well, okay, well, my kitchen's gonna have really nutritious food as well. Um, you know, I need to have a lot of good stuff from the baby dash dragon to grow up. So here, let me just go ahead and build the basic outline for the room right now. It's gonna be sick. And oh, wait, actually, I got a banger idea. What if I just make the entire kitchen out of glass? My theme is gonna be like glass and wood. It actually looks pretty cool so far. So why not stick to the theme and make the kitchen out of wood and glass as well? Here, now let me just go ahead and raise up all of these glass walls looking nice. And let me also go ahead and grab some wooden slabs and we can go ahead and place those all around over here for the roof. And here, let me also go ahead and do the floor really quick. And ooh, I'm just gonna set it to some of these jungle logs. This actually looks pretty cool. Let me just go ahead and put the entire floor down. Boom, there we go. And now I gotta put down all of the food. So here, I guess the first thing I gotta do is grab some refrigerators and ooh, okay, hold on. Let's grab some of these fridges and just put two of them right over there. Looking good, looking good. And here, now let me go ahead and grab some barrels and some chests. And over here can be where we store all of the dry food. So let's just have our barrel storage and chest storage over here like that looking good. And here, I guess we can have some more refrigerators over here on this side. And uh, yeah, this area should be pretty good. Or wait, 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 actually, actually, hold on. Well, the thing I need on this side is the water. Yeah, there we go. We can have some sinks instead of uh, more fridges. All right, but anyways, what should I even put inside of my fridges? Let's see, what type of food do we have? And uh, let me just go into the food category. And, ooh, okay, we've got a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna grab some of this coked mud and a little bit of some coked salmon. And ooh, yeah, some enchanted golden apples. This is gonna be everything that Dash Baby is gonna need to grow up to a big dragon. That's it? That's not gonna be enough protein? Uh, what, what do you mean? It's literally all protein. I just have like a bunch of meat here. Well, that's not the kind of protein a dragon needs. I have a lot more. You'll see. Okay, I guess I will. I don't really know what you mean by that. But anyways, now all I got to do is fill up my barrels and my chest. So here, I guess here we can put like the dry foods and like foods that don't need to be refrigerated. So here, I guess let's go ahead and grab some fruits. That could be good. Let's go ahead and grab some carrots, some potatoes, ooh, some apples, some bread. Yep, we can have some of that. And here, let's also go ahead and grab some pumpkin pie, you know, just as a little treat in case uh, Dash Baby wants to eat it. And let's just go ahead and fill up this entire chest with it. Boom. And then we can fill up these two barrels up here with some bread. And there we go. My kitchen area is officially complete. Dash, I'm noticing a lack of something in your base. Wait, what are you doing here again? But wait, lack of something? What are you talking about? You know, like, uh, where, where are you gonna sleep at? Wait, a bedroom? You're right, I forgot to build a bedroom. Oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, uh, Dash Baby is gonna be mad if I don't have a bedroom. Uh, thanks for the reminder. You're welcome, but you owe me. Okay, actually, I have a perfect spot for where I can build it. I can build uh, two bedrooms right over here. Yeah, and I can have like a little hallway going from here to get to the bedroom. It's gonna be sick. Wait, why do we even need bedrooms, guys? Babies like to stay up all night and party. Well, what type of parties do babies go to? Uh, obviously the best ones. Clearly, you've never been to them. Uh, yeah, but wait, that doesn't sound healthy, just staying up all night. Healthy schmelthy, who cares? I'm not building a bedroom. Okay, that sounds interesting. I guess we'll see how your kid rates your house then. But anyways, I am gonna build a bedroom, so here, I need to set this wall over here to some glass, so let me do slash slash set, glass, pane, boom, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. Let's go ahead and set the roof over here into some wood, so let's do slash slash set, oak planks, boom, there we go. That's looking nice, and here for the bedroom, uh, I guess we can just have the walls be made out of normal oak planks, since, you know, you don't want people peeking into your bedroom, so let's just slash slash set that and then let's also slash slash set this wall over here boom that's looking nice and okay hmm, how am i gonna build two bedrooms in here you know what actually what i could do is just go ahead and have one bedroom over here like this there we go and then i can have the door for this bedroom right over here like that and then what i can do is just have another wall right over here and then have another door over here and this will be where the second bedroom is this can be dash baby's bedroom since it's a bit smaller and you know he's smaller than me in size and here let me also grab some of these bedside cabinets and let's just go ahead and place a bed down over there with some of these bedside side cabinets looking nice. Let's go ahead and do the same over here on my side. There we go. And wait, let's actually get some windows over here. I think we need some natural lighting in this room. That could look cool. Although we don't need like the entire wall to be made out of windows like over here. Let's go ahead and put all of the glass over here like that. And wait, I'm pretty sure there's also window blinds. So maybe we can use those to like disable the windows if we need to. And oh yeah, okay. Oak blinds. Let's go ahead and grab some of those and put those down right over here. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And oh look, we can like turn them on and off. That's pretty cool. Let's do the same over here for Dash Baby's bedroom just like that. And okay, Okay, perfect. There we go. Now the bedrooms are fully complete. But anyways, just like that, my house is now officially complete. Let's go. Yep, mine's done too. And mine is also done. And wait, anyways, that means that everyone is done, I'm pretty sure. So everyone, let's go and meet in the middle. It's time to show our babies our houses. But wait, we're speaker, baby. Wait, 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 wait guys, uh, don't do the tours yet. I'm not done yet. And wait, while you're still working on your house, how much longer is it gonna take? I don't know. Just uh, do a couple tours without me. I'll be there, I promise. Uh, okay, sounds good. Well, anyways, uh, whose baby should we spawn in first? Obviously mine. Mine's the most well-behaved and the most normal. And okay, okay, whatever you say, I guess we can spawn in yours first. I'm actually curious to see what's inside of your house. Well, anyways, go ahead and hit your button. 
Oh yeah, here comes the best baby boom! Ah, oh, good morning, father. What brings me here on this beautiful and, day? Oh my gosh, I'm never getting over how weird this guy sounds. Perfectly normal, and he's the best, most behaved uh, baby ever. But if you come over here and check this out, we have your awesome cave den. Ah, oh, this den looks quite adequate for my tastes. Yep, and wait, 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 before you go in, you kind of need one of these. So uh, here you go, take that. Whoa, wait, is your first area a flight training course? Okay. Well, it's not a flight training course. It's a gliding training course, and you have to glide from here all the way to the end of the tunnel over there. A gliding training course. This should be no problem for a dragon like me. I bet I could even beat this dash fellow here. What? You get things you can beat me? What? No way, dude. You're like half my size. It's going to be an easy win for me, obviously. Well, half the size means half the wind resistance. Josh, are you going to let him talk to you like that? Uh, what? No. Speaker, man, you got another Electra handed over. Uh, yeah, here. Just take that. And all right, kid. You ready to go down? Yes. And I wish you the best of luck in this duel. All right. Well, if you guys are ready, you can go in three, two, one. Go, 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 and, go. All right. Go, go, go. Here. I got to win this. Come on. And, oh, gosh. I already hit one of the things. Ah, uh, this course was so easy. I think I'll need more obstacles, father. And oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How is he ahead of me? And what in the world? Did I really just lose to a baby? Whoa, Dash. You got smoked by him. Okay. It wasn't my fault. Okay. I didn't know the course as well as uh, he did. He He's probably like seen this place before. This is my first time actually seeing this wonderful cave. I thought it was a great competition. And oh gosh, whatever. Well, uh, GG's. Uh, now what's your next area that you built? First, let's go over here to the kitchen since, uh, you know, it's the most normal place. Oh yes, the kitchen where we indulge in the compensation of the foods. And over here in your fridges, you can come check out. You've got every single piece of rainbow food imaginable. Oh, what the rainbow mutton? Yep. And that's not all we have. We have steak. We have apples. We have carrots. We have uh, more apples. We have fish and we have a uh, baked potato, some bread. We have everything. Ah, uh, yes, all the nutrients that growing baby needs. The rainbow helps me grow fast. Wow, all of this is really nutritious, but um, is that enough protein for him? Yeah, there's plenty of protein. Did you see how many steaks we had? Well, I can't find them because there's too many fridges. Oh, uh, well, then just have some right here. Uh, okay, L leave me alone. I shouldn't be throwing around steaks like that. It's quite the waste. It is pretty good, though, but definitely not enough protein for a dragon. What the, what type of food did you even put in your kitchen? I'm actually so curious now. You'll see. Well, we'll find out during her tour. This is my tour, but if you guys follow me over here, we have more stuff to do. Whoa, all right. I saw this earlier, but I have no clue what it is. You got a lava and a water wall. Whoa. You know, only fire dragons can come in here. And are you sure about that? Let me go ahead and grab a fire resistance potion really quick, just like that. And boom, there we go. Look, now we can go in as well. Easy. Well, I guess so. That makes it more boring, though. But here is your combat training course ah uh, the training of the combat this might be one of my favorite rooms in the entire house whoa but you have a combat training room as well but wait you only have four dispensers mine has like i don't even know how many but it has a lot more than four you'll see why i only have four but uh come check out all the armor you have and, whoa what the there's some wild looking armor but wait where are all the targets there's no targets yet we well, gotta spawn them in and wait, wait, wait hold on why does the sword do a thousand attack damage isn't that gonna make it like super easy to train i shouldn't he just go in there with no weapons or armor no that's just a random number that's actually not how much damage it does uh this is based off the uh a pure skill of a dragon. So long if you hold the sword, it does a thousand damage. But when I hold it, it does two thousand. Oh, actually, I think it's the other way around. I'm like bigger than you and probably stronger, so it'll probably do more damage for me. Oh, do you want to do another duel then? Uh, another duel? Uh, I guess he's like literally a kid. I don't know if there's a good idea. Dash, are you trying to fight a baby right now? What? He, he's the one who asked me. Yeah, and you'd lose anyway, but uh, if you're ready, Speaker Man Baby, go ahead and get ready. All right, I'm ready for my combat training. All right, well, here you go. Three, two, one, boom. And, well, uh, what? Are those mutant mobs? What? Oh, the ground is shaking. What in the world? Yep, these are some mutant blazes and some mutant wither skeletons. Whoa, wait, why are they spinning so fast? What is going on? And whoa, it oh. just exploded. Oh, gosh. This baby is built different. Ah, uh, I could go for another round. I think you can, but uh, I think we should wait for this to be repaired. Yeah, he just destroyed the arena. What in the world? Ah, uh, that was my weakest attack. What? You have more attacks? Well, uh, all right, well, let's check out the other rooms. Yep. All right, we well, just got to follow me me over here to the next room and you may be wondering where is it at and it's just through this water and wait hold on since you're like fire dragons doesn't water hurt you uh, yeah but this is purely for training okay and well wait you have even more water here what the yep this is an entire underwater maze we have to build resistances to our weaknesses so that we can never be vulnerable what the uh, you guys are like training to not drown i'm not sure if that's like a really good thing to be training for one capacity is very important it's very uh valuable for uh fire breathing uh, okay and wait what is this this is it leave now wait why is it so aggressive because uh you you need to leave. Wait, father, where is my bedroom? How am I supposed to take my nappy web? Don't worry about that. Uh, just follow me. Don't let Dash see you, though. Wait, what in the world are they doing? And, uh, wait, 
Are those ghost blocks? No, uh, you should leave now. Uh, there is more to the tour than it first seemed. Wait, 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 hold on. Can we check this area? Oh, wait, why can't we go through? Fine, I guess you could come check it out, but uh, I only made it for uh, Speaker Man Baby in mind. Whoa, wait, is this a secret room? Whoa, yeah, wait, what is this place? Wait, what, what is that? This is fireball training. Uh, make sure you have your fireballs ready. Oh, uh, yes, I'm quite ready and I am quite warmed up. Wait, uh, does he have to shoot fireballs at the TNTs over there? Whoa, wait, that actually sounds pretty fun. Yep, yeah, if you're ready, go ahead and boom, there you go. This training is rather easy. Whoa, what the way? Did you just hit all of them first try? What the? And wait, why are there diamond blocks behind it? Uh, that's his reward for getting it. Uh, the, I'll have the minions come over here and grab those for you. Oh, your aim is so good. You know what they say. Practice makes perfect. But what is a baby going to do with diamond blocks? Uh, you know, uh, buy uh, whatever he wants, I guess. All right, all right. Well, anyways, what's the next area over there? Is that an end portal? Uh, yeah, it is. If you're ready, we could go in and check it out. And whoa, all right. Well, uh, I guess let's go check out what you got inside of the end. Let's go. Wait, is this safe? Whoa, what the? Wait, what the? Wait, hold on. Let's check out this main island over here. I saw some houses. Yep, I built a vacation island retreat for me and Speaker Man Baby in the end. What the? You just got your vacation homes here? Yep, we each get our own home. Wait, that's so awesome. It's so quiet and peaceful here. Whoa, you even took out the dragon? So this is how you got those dragon eggs. Oh, yeah, this is where I got them from. Which house is mine? Uh, either or. It doesn't really matter. They're the exact same. I think I will take this one. Whoa, yeah. These houses actually look pretty sick. I'd like to thank you all for accompanying me on this tour, but I must bid you adieu now for i have to take my nappy wappy oh he's taking a nap i'm never gonna get used to that but anyways was that your entire house yep this is everything uh and once we're ready to go back we can hop in the portal and, all right let's go to the next tour let's go Whee! all right all right well anyways whose baby should we spawn in next wait we should spawn in mine since my house is super sick uh, all right i'm down with I that see your house let's go all right so here let me go ahead and spawn in my kid and <gasps> hello dash baby oh hi dad are you done with the den yeah well i didn't build a den but check it out dash baby i built us an epic tree house what do you think? Wait, a tree house? This is not what I asked for. I asked for a den. A, a, Dash, wait, what are you doing? No, no, no the, the trees are flammable. Stop. Tree house, den, the, you know, pretty much the same thing. This is better than a den. I don't think your kid likes this very much. Oh my gosh, no, Dash, baby, chill out. You haven't even seen the inside of the base yet. Okay, uh, trust me. Once you see the inside, your mind is going to change. This area is way cooler than a den. Fine, but you better not be lying. And, okay, okay, I'm not lying. Just follow me right up this way. And look, actually, well, there's two entrances to the base. You can either try flying to the flying entrance, or you can go up the staircase. Uh, the choice is yours. Uh, yeah, I'm going up the staircase. Case. And oh yeah, I guess you don't know how to fly yet. But anyways, everyone follow me up the staircase. Let me take you to your first activity dash, baby. Uh, why are these stairs so big? I have to jump up them. And oh yeah, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I guess next time I can build like a ladder or something, maybe. Uh, you have a lot more stairs left. You can do it, dash, baby. Just believe. And yeah, it's good exercise. You know, we're almost at the top anyways. I don't want to exercise. And okay, okay. Well, whatever. There you go. You made it. But anyways, dash, baby, check it out. This is the flight training course. So, you know, you can learn how to fly and then you won't have to use the stairs anymore. Then you can use the flying landing platform. No more stairs? I guess that sounds kind of good. Wait, what do I do? And yeah, pretty much what you have to do is just hop over here inside of that pressure plate to grab yourself an elytra. And I've already got one on actually for, for Speaker Man's tour. And then the next thing you need to do is grab some rockets from inside of here and you can use these to propel yourself. All right, is that it? Uh, nope, that's pretty much it. And then you can get lined up over here and whenever you're ready, you can just try going through the rings. And wait, do you want to race? Oh yeah, but I don't think there's really a point since you're going to lose. Wait, what? But you've never flown before. How do you know that? <laughs> yeah, but you're going to lose. And, uh, you're going? Oh gosh, all right, I got to catch up. Come on, let's go. I gotta spam these rockets and... Oh, uh, see ya. Wait, what? Uh, how are you so fast? You're cheating. What? No, Dash Baby, just watch what I do. All right, you gotta study my movements and uh, just, like, try to imitate them, okay? This is how you fly. I'm trying, but it's not working. You're still way ahead of me. You're doing something. What? No, I'm not doing anything. All you have to do is just use the rockets and you'll get it. And boom, there we go. I made it. Come on, you can do it, Dash Baby. Come on, go, go, go. And here we go. And look, you made oh it. Oh my gosh, I didn't even win. That was so annoying. Tell me what you did right now. What? That Dash Baby, I didn't do anything. I just, like, used the rockets normally. That's it. No, you you cheated. You did something that you didn't tell me. Tell me right now or else. Well, you just have to practice. You'll get better. And yeah, I didn't cheat. You just have to practice. You know, over time, you can get better and better. No, no, no. You definitely cheated. Tell me right Stop now. Dash, wait, chill, 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 chill. Uh, let's get rid of this TNT over here. All right. Uh, oh, gosh. You already lit one. Guys, guys, help. Help. He's placing TNT. Um, um, oh. Uh, I put down the water too late. Oh, gosh. It's fine. Well, it was only one TNT, but that's where you need to stop playing with TNT. Where did you even get that from? Oh, some other dragon named Speaker Baby gave it to me. Oh, my gosh. I gotta have a word with Speaker Baby after this. But anyways, I guess follow me over here. Let's take you to your next training course. You might have more fun with this one. Just follow me right down over here. I think it's over here. Wait, where did I build it? What? You don't know the places in your own house? Hold on. It's over here, but I think I forgot to build, like, an actual way to get in. Oh, don't worry. I got this. And, no, no, no. Dash Baby. Oh, my gosh. Actually, you know what? I guess this works. 
Well, I gotta move. All right, well, there we go. Now we've got an entrance. Uh, I don't know how I forgot to build an entrance to this room earlier, but uh, yeah. Anyways, now what we have to do is just hop over here and dash baby. This is your fighting combat training course. What do you think? Combat training for what? Well, if you want to be a big buff dragon, you need to learn how to fight. Well, what's there to learn? I'm already the best. Here, I'll show you. Uh, okay, I guess if you say so. Uh, here, let me know when you're ready and I'll spawn in the mob. Just hurry up and start it already. And, okay, okay. Here, let me go ahead and hit the button and boom, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be super easy. Uh, wait, are you sure about that? It looks like you're taking some damage right now. Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. He's taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna go in there. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Maybe I'm not fine. Dash, your doors don't work. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, here, let me try opening them in. Uh, they help him. Okay, um, oh, gosh, Dash, baby's on fire. Oh, this hurts. It's okay, it's okay. Everything is gone now. Are you okay? Yeah, I was fine the whole time. I just didn't want to fight such weak mobs. Do you have anything harder? What? You're just gonna say that after Ruby comes in and saves you? Um, yeah, that round was boring. Come on, give me something difficult. I don't think your kid's the fighting type. Um, I guess if you want something else more exciting, you could do the boss round. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure if he's ready for that, though. I mean, he kind of needed help for this first round. Look, I didn't need help. I was just bored. I didn't want to fight them. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, well, uh, if you really want to do the boss fight, uh, let me know and I'll hit the button. I'm waiting. Come on. And, okay, okay. Here, let me hit the button in three, two, one, go! Oh, gosh. This guy's actually pretty big. Yeah, are you sure you can take him out? That guy is like five times his size. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, should I hit the panic button? I'm not sure if there's a good idea, Dash Baby. He's on fire! No, no, no. I got it. I got it. He's, you're literally on fire. Are you sure about that? And oh, gosh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. I, I'm hitting the panic button. Quick, get in one of the corners. And okay, there you go. You should be good. Oh, okay. I'm good. But why did you push that button? I was about to get him. Okay, Dash Baby. I, I think you spent enough time in the combat training room. You are not about to get him. Anyway, just follow me over here to the next training room. This, Dash Baby, is your fireball aim training course. This area is actually pretty cool. So all you have to do is grab some fireballs out of this chest. And then you have to hit all of those targets over there. And wait, hold on. This one's kind of broke it. Let me fix that. There you go. Okay, this seems kind of easy. Let me just do that. Wait, wait, wait. Before you shoot the next one, wait, wait. Look, check to your left and check it out. Look, there's fireworks. Oh, yeah, those are cool, I guess, but that color is kind of bad. And, uh, what? You don't like the color? Dude, you're literally purple. Wait, I am? Oh, gosh, I gotta get this off of me. What? In, uh, what are you doing? No, okay, chill out. But anyways, all you have to do is just hit all of those targets and, whoa, it looks like you're actually doing really good so far. You've hit, like, all of them first try. Yeah, that was pretty fun, I guess, but I have an idea to make this a lot more uh, better. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why are you putting TNT down? I don't think that's a good idea, uh, Dash Baby. Wait, how much TNT does this guy have? And, uh, no, no, uh, Dash Baby, I don't think you should hit those. That, that doesn't seem like a good idea. All right, and here we go. And Oh, fire. gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, guys, I think we might want to get out of here. Oh, gosh, I'm out of here. See ya. stop the explosion? It's too late. It's already lit. And oh, gosh. No! Well, hey, at least some of the fireworks went off. That looks pretty cool. Oh, no, my cat. Oh, yeah, that cave was kind of ugly anyways. What in the world? Oh, gosh. Well, uh, I guess do you want to go check out the next part of the house? Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? And oh, my gosh. All right. Well, hopefully you like it. Please do not blow it up. I actually made these things pretty cool over here. So just follow me down this way. Let me introduce you to the kitchen. This is where you can get all of the food that you need. Oh, this is very cramped. What? It's a nice kitchen. Okay, we've got the fridges with a bunch of cooked meat over there. And we've got these barrels with some bread. And I know you like some treats. So I also put some pumpkin pie at the bottom. Ew, pie and fruit? Wait, where's the cake in? cookies. Wait, what? The pie and cake, they're like the same thing. Uh, no, they are definitely not. Oh, come on, Dash Baby. Pumpkin pie's better than cake, right, Dash? And yeah, pumpkin pie's so much better than cake. Have you even tried it before? Yeah, I tried it, and after one bite, I wanted to vomit. Show me the cake right now. Well, I'm sorry to bring it to you, but uh, there's no cake. The closest thing we have is bread. Okay, well, I know what to do to this and kitchen. Oh, gosh. Uh, -oh. uh, he's filling it with lava. Uh, guys, I think we might want to evacuate the kitchen. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. And there we go. That's where all the pumpkin pie goes. Oh, my gosh. That kitchen looked so cool before. I don't I think your kid likes this build. Well, there is still one more part of the build left, and that is your bedroom, Dash Baby. So here, let's see if you like that. The bedroom is probably like the coolest part of this entire build. I know you didn't like the other stuff yet, but the bedroom is actually sick. So just follow me right this way. Ah, uh, not again. Not the stairs. It's okay, Dash Baby. Don't get mad. Oh, don't worry. I'm not mad. I'm furious. Anyways, here are the bedrooms. This is my bedroom right over here. We got the window blinds and everything. Pretty cool. And then we have your bedroom right over here. What do you think? Oh, this is it? Uh, this kind of small. Hold on. I have an idea. Let's just get rid of this wall and, uh, over wait, here. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Are you trying to get rid of the wall? Oh my gosh. Well, actually, uh, it's fine. I guess we can have like the wall gone. I guess we can just like both live in the same room. Oh no. Uh, here, let me do this as well. Did you just get rid of my bed? Yeah, this is my room now. Here, let me just get a better color bed. What? You like gray more than purple? What in the world? Yeah, it's a better color. At least these blocks are made out of it. Dash, you can't get your kid under control.
little at all. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, Dash Baby, I think it might be time for you to get despawned. I'm going back to hit the button. Uh, don't you dare get off. I'm blowing this entire place up. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. In. There we go. He should be gone. But wait, did he blow anything up? And oh no. I think he got blown up, Dash. Ah, oh, gosh. I didn't hit the button in time. My house was so cool. I don't think he liked that very much. Yeah, but anyways, uh, I guess should we check out your house next, Ruby? Yeah, let's go to my house next. All right, let me go ahead and spawn in my kid. And all right, and oh, there she is. Hi, baby Ruby. Oh, hi, Mom. Do we have a house? Yeah, we're doing the tour. Do you like it so far? It's a pretty big tree. Oh, yeah, this looks great. Where do we start? So we just follow down this path, and then we see our first thing. Whoa, wait, your base actually looks super cool. I'm not going to lie. But first, come over here, baby Ruby. Open this. Look, why is there a book in here? I hate reading. Oh, um, the book is for your scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt? What's that? Well, it's when you get clues to find treasure. I don't know. Just, um, can you read it? And whoa, wait, you made a scavenger hunt? That's actually a pretty good idea. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fine. Oh, uh, fine. I'll read it. It says, if it's the scavenger hunt you want to win, maybe you should try and go for a swim? Wait, that's actually an easy clue. It's probably in here. Uh, Dash, I don't think we're supposed to help. And Oh, yeah, you're right here. We should probably back off for this. No, no, no. Keep helping. Keep helping. Oh, wait, what's this down here? That's your next clue, but before we go to the next clue, why don't you just spend some time here? So this is your fishing pond. Oh, it's another book. Well, before you read that book, why don't we spend some time here first? This is the fishing area. Uh, we have some fishing rods over here and you can catch yourself some food. Fishing is so boring. Well, it's meant to be peaceful and nice and lots of protein here, so um, do you like it? I guess, but I wish it was more exciting. Fishing is so boring. And wait, Ruby, I don't think your kid likes fishing very much. Well, I guess um, if you don't like this, just read your next clue then. Okay. It says, I'm glad you had some fun by the river. Maybe the next clue is next to a villager? And, oh, wait. I think I might know where this is. Oh, wait. There's some villagers over here. And wait, that sign says food time. I'm actually kind of hungry. Come here. And, uh, wait, what the? Uh, did she just eat the villagers? Ah, uh, those tasted so good. So that was the food that you were talking about this whole time. Oh, gosh. Well, duh. Dragons eat villagers. But she still seems hungry, so I'm gonna spawn in some more for her. Here, right here, baby Ruby. Oh, yes. Yeah, more food. Whoa, wait. It looks like she really likes eating villagers. That's kind of weird. And I'll spawn in a couple couple more for dinner right here. Don't eat these yet, okay? But, um, your next clue's in this pink box in the wall. Oh, fine. But I'm still kind of hungry. What? How is she still hungry? She ate, like, ten villagers so far. Well, I guess she's just a growing girl. Don't worry about it. She's just small. All right. I guess I won't eat them now. But here, let's see what's this next clue. I'm glad you liked your villager trap. Is it time to go upstairs for a nap? Wait, I think I saw some stairs over here earlier. And wait a minute. Hold on. I think I might know where this is going as well. Is this going to the bedroom? Yes, it's going to the bedroom. Let's go. And, all right, all right. Here, let's check this thing out. Holy smokes. It's Captain Obvious. Wait, what's this? Food, cake, TNT, just in case? Wait, I didn't put any TNT in there. Who did that? There's TNT in this crate. I think this is uh, Speaker Baby. What the? Is Speaker Baby delivering TNT shipments to all the babies? What? My baby didn't get anything like this. Oh, wait. This is just a package I ordered. What the? Okay, well, Speaker Baby is up to no good. But uh, anyways, I guess let's move on. Oh, no. I hope she doesn't blow up the rest of the house. And, oh, gosh. Yeah, Speaker Baby is supplying all these babies with TNT. What a weirdo. Okay, Baby Ruby. I hope you like this because I don't want you to blow this up. But um, here's your bedroom. I put some gold on the walls and then there you have a bed over here. Okay, this looks pretty comfy, but I'm supposed to be looking for a clue. Um, they're all in the pink boxes. Just keep looking. And hmm, wait, actually, I don't see this one yet. Yeah, me neither. Ruby, I think she may be too short to see this oh, one. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, where is this crate? It's over here. Come on. And oh gosh, oh gosh, it looks like she's getting mad and she has access to TNT. You might want to make this one a bit easier. Um, baby Ruby, why don't you look up over here above your bed? Oh, above my bed? Oh, uh, no, nothing over here. How does she not see this one? I think she's too short. I think I know how to solve this problem. It's the one thing that solves everything. TNT. Uh, oh, gosh. Wait, 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 I, I knew this was going to happen. Back off. Ah! Oh, oh, no. Oh, wait. There's the crate right there. What? How did you see it then but not before? Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Oh, was really hidden. I had to blow up some stuff to find it. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> I'm glad you liked your cozy little nest, but do you want to put your flying skills to the test? Oh, okay. You have a flying training course? Okay, this looks interesting. So just take an electra and some of the rockets and follow the signs. Follow the signs? Okay, well, this one says to go that way. Yeah, and if you fall, there's some spider webs to catch you and some water down there, too, so don't worry. All right, here I go. Whoa, wait, this looks like a pretty small flying course, but whoa, 
wait, Baby Ruby actually did pretty good at it. Oh, wait, is that it? Well, yeah, this is supposed to be simple. It's a tree, so you can just fly to every part of it. Okay, and wait, the crates are right here. And so those are your prizes. And then the final one is right here. Oh, wait, the final clue already? Am I almost done with the scavenger hunt? Well, actually, you're already done. <laughs> oh, I am. This one says you found your treasure, you rang the bell. I hope you've enjoyed the scavenger hunt as well. Let's go, you completed the scavenger hunt. Good job. Yeah, and it only took one TNT. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the problem. And oh, gosh, she's putting out more TNT. We might want to back up. Oh, gosh, everyone Please away. Stop the tree house. Oh. Oh, gosh. Why did all the tourists have to end with TNT? Speaker baby, why'd you give my baby TNT? Well, anyway, Speaker baby, is your house almost done yet? Uh, yeah, I actually just finished up. Okay, I should put Ruby baby away then. And yeah, you should probably despawn her for nope, now and- Too late. I'm never gonna leave. Wait, she destroyed the button. Oh, gosh. Wait, Ruby baby, come back. Uh, I think she's gonna be busy with her kid for a while. I think we should just move on to Speaker baby's build. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, well, uh, Speaker baby, why don't you go ahead and spawn in? your kid. All right, if you guys are ready, I'm going to push my button in three, two, one. And here is Speaker Baby Baby. Oh, hello, Dad. I'm finally here. Where's our base? Oh, it's right here. It's this giant volcano. Do you see it? Oh, how do I get up? Oh, well, I didn't actually make a stairway up here. We get to swim up this lava right here. Wait, what? You have to swim up the lava? That seems a little bit dangerous. Uh, how is it dangerous? We're fire dragons, but it's so slow. And yeah, I guess it's not dangerous for fire dragons, but yeah, it's so slow. Well, eventually when he learns how to fly, he can just fly up. And finally, I'm up. That was slow. Wait, how did you get up faster than me. I hit the gym. Cardio. Oh, right. I forgot. You were kind of weird. But anyways, here, if we just jump into the lava, then we can start the tour. What? You have to jump in the lava to start the tour? Oh, it should be no problem for me. Oh, you're just going in like that? All right. Well, I guess let me go in next. Here we go. And whoa, wait, you have like a whole base down here. This is actually sick. Yeah. So, uh, speaker baby, baby, where do you want to start? Uh, I don't know. Over here. Oh, so over here is a parkour that you can do. And there's a prize on the other side. Wow. This is so easy. Whoa, wait. It looks like speaker baby, baby is actually popping off on the parkour. Yeah. Just be careful of the water. And wait, what happens if a fire dragon touches water? Well, what happens when water touches fire? Uh, it turns into obsidian. Uh, no, that's lava. Oh, it turns into stone? That's what happens when lava touches water. Uh, uh, but I'm getting confused. Isn't it just obsidian? Uh, the fire gets extinguished. Oh, oh, right. Well, I'd never get extinguished. Done. Easy. Oh, well, yeah, it looks like he's actually doing pretty good. And whoa, what Ooh. are these lava cakes? What in the world? Yeah, only the best reward for completing the parkour. Well, usually I eat pretty healthy, but that was spicy. It was good. And wait, yeah, I thought this guy doesn't usually eat cakes. Yeah, but those were lava cakes, so I guess he made an exception. And yeah, usually Speaker Baby Baby doesn't, like, eat cake. He's usually, like, the healthy one. And don't talk about it. I'm fine. If he's eating cake, then let him eat it. And, uh, okay. Well, anyways, what's your next area? Uh, well, I'll let Speaker Baby Baby decide. Uh, Speaker Baby, do you want to go straight or do you want to go left? Uh, I want to go down. All right, well, down here is the kitchen where we manufacture all of our spicy cakes. And whoa, wait, you have, like, a factory here for manufacturing spicy cakes? What the? Yeah, you'll see it's right down here. Whoa, what in the world? This is how spicy cakes are made? Yeah, you need lava to drip directly on to a normal cake. And, uh, wait, what's Speaker Baby Baby doing? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing, SBB? Oh, I think he's going for a dip in the lava. Speaker Baby Baby, get out of there. If you want to dip in the lava, I could just put you in the bottom of the volcano. Ooh, this stuff tastes so good. And, wait, is he drinking it? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get out of there right now. We're not going to have any lava cakes left if you drink it all. No, hydration is very important for body function. Yeah, so is food. And by you drinking that, we won't have any lava cake left. It tastes too good, though. I never want to leave. Yeah, well, there's so much more lava at the bottom of the volcano. And replace what I'm drinking with that lava. And we won't be able to have lava cakes anymore. Wow, he just drank a whole tub of lava? Yeah, that didn't seem very healthy. Well, uh, anyways, what do you got next in your build? Hey, well, if you guys follow me over this way. All right, all right. And wait, hold on. What's all this TNT over here for? What the, the supply? Wait, is this what you've been giving Dash Baby and Ruby Baby? Yeah, that's the supply that they demanded. Oh my gosh. So this is where they're getting this TNT from. Okay, I'm getting rid of all of this. You cannot be giving them TNT uh, anymore. Hey, 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 you're going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to pay for that. That's $23 for each I piece. I'm not paying for this dude you literally gave them tnt they blew up my house with this i'll send you an invoice for seventy two thousand dollars. oh my gosh i'm not paying that all right well anyways what's this area down here well down here is our little nether area because you know fire dragons we love the nether whoa wait this is actually pretty cool you like recreated the whole nether in here yeah we have every single biome we have a soul sand valley right here we have the basalt deltas and then over here we have the two nether forests and then up here we have our own little nether fortress well this is pretty nice but this place could use some combat training let me just spawn in some of these wait sbb what are you doing is he making his own 
combat training? I think he is. Oh, what are you doing? These bundles right now. Gotta train my muscles. And okay, it looks like he's still into working out and all that. Oh my gosh, this is super unsafe. Time for my mega attack. Boom. Whoa, what? Did you just get rid of all of them at once? Yeah, they didn't stand a chance. I don't even know how he did that. All right, well, anyways, uh, where's the next area? Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the next area? Well, if you follow me, it is the grand finale of the tour. So here, let's just go up here. Whoa, grand finale. All right, all right. Wait, which area have we not seen yet? Oh yeah, the roller coaster, right? Yeah, we have a giant roller coaster right here and here. We can all go on it. So uh, SBB, if you want to go first. Ooh, I want to go first. All right, so here you go. Speaker baby, baby, have fun on the ride. Woo. And here, if you all want to go, I can place down some more mine cards. And oh yeah, I definitely want to go. I'm going next. All right, all right, here we go. And whoa, wait, this is actually pretty cool. Whoa, wait, okay. It was really close to the lava there. Are you sure this thing is safe? Yeah, I built it specifically for safety. All right, all right. And wait, hold on. Is this the finish line over here? Whoa. Okay, yeah, that didn't actually enter an explosion or anything. That was pretty good. Oh, why would I explode my amazing volcano? Yeah, that was pretty nice. I was honestly expecting an explosion at the end there. And here I come catching up to you guys. But yeah, there we go. What do you think of the tour, SBB? Well, it was nice, but I need to make a few quick changes. Uh, what is he doing? Did you just set all of the lava to wool? Oh, what did you just do? You just ruined our volcano. Just need a dumbbell here and another one and, here. Uh, wait, is he making dumbbells? Why are these so big? And one, two, three. Three. Wait, is he trying to work out and lift these dumbbells? Oh, these dumbbells are like double his size. Come on, speaker baby, baby. You just got rid of all the lava. Can you even move these weights? Oh my what gosh. In the How is he doing that? I don't know. And another one. And I'm so strong. Done. That's enough reps for today. And what in the world? Well, at least the tour didn't end in an explosion. Guys, watch out. I'm gonna blow all of it up. And wait, what? Uh, I, th I think baby Ruby's on the loose. We better get out of here. Oh, wait. Did I just hear TNT? Run, run, run. Uh, run, run, run. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And oh, my gosh. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.